Good evening, I'm Brianna Willis. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. After Supervisor Mike Maggard brought the anti-camping ordinance to the Board of Supervisors back in June, the Board of Supervisors unanimously passed the anti-camping ordinance today. It will take effect in 30 days. And while the supervisors say this anti-encampment ordinance is not the only solution to the homelessness issue here in Kern County, they believe it will be a good first step. And the Board of Supervisors were also updated on the best and worst case scenarios for COVID-19 in Kern County through the holidays. Brent Kerrigan, the director of Kern County Public Health, says there's been a change to the state's modeling. There's now three different situations that could play out over the next few months. A worst, moderate, and best case scenario. The modeling is based on the rate of booster doses administered in the community and the anticipated immunity. In two of the three scenarios, Kerrigan says we don't fully recover from the third surge of the virus before cases and hospitalizations go up. And travel is continuing to rebound quickly from the pandemic. The Automobile Club of Southern California is projecting that 4.4 million Southern Californians will be on the roadways during the Thanksgiving holiday. Nationwide, AAA is projecting this Thanksgiving to be the third busiest on record with 53.4 million travelers. And as for Southern California, this will make it the second busiest travel volume on record. Also, according to AAA, SoCal travelers will be paying the highest gas prices ever for this time of the year for their holiday trips. Brandon. And some nicer weather compared to uh, earlier in the day today when we have that light rain moving in officially one one hundredth of an inch of rainfall here in Bakersfield. So as expected was not heavy rain a little bit warmer than we thought sitting at 68 degrees skies clearing out a little bit earlier than we thought too. still have some clouds banked up against the mountains though just about as warm for tomorrow 67 degrees your high temperature in Bakersfield and still some 70s over in the desert and we're actually going to see a warming trend as we head through the forecast patchy fog early for both tomorrow and Veterans Day but into the 70s and even upper 70s by the time we get into the weekend and early next week. So temperatures on the rise once again would not be surprised to see some 80s for Lake Isabella as we head into the weekend for our desert communities as well and even some low to mid 70s for the South Mountains. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com